Mr. Daniel Humphrey, this Mr. Emilio Pivano. Thank you for coming on, on such short notice. It's a pleasure to meet an esteemed alumnus of the program. I read your book. Not a bad debut. Easy to see the potential. Thank you. How many people were you expecting? <laughs> Only you. Uh, that's just my girlfriend, Blair. She loves variety and themes. In fact, funny story. Um, being that the program is in Rome, she wanted us to have gelato. So she, she went out to get some since we didn't have any here. Knowing uh, Miss Blair, she go to Chelsea Market for best gelato in city. And I mean, what, what says Italy better than uh, gelato? She'll, 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 be, she'll be back in just a moment. Sorry, I'm late. I got stuck in traffic. Babe, I'm sorry. Hi, I'm Blair Waldorf. So nice to meet you. Looks like S is BSing as B. Let's hope this works. There's no place like Rome. What is the gelato? I actually didn't even like him at first. I thought that he was annoying and unpopular and from Brooklyn. And I would uh, antagonize him on a daily basis. We, we really couldn't stand each other for years. But it's like a movie now, you know, because we're just madly in love. <laughs> I mean, not, not that madly. It's a, it's, a, it's a calm, stable love. We're never very secure in it. We don't have to worry about it. Yeah, yeah, it's like where we're meant to be. <laughs> like Brad and Angelina once they got rid of Jennifer. Yeah, I mean, not that dramatic. Obviously, there was no Jennifer. You'll have to excuse Blair. She's not really feeling herself today. You know, the point is, if Dan is in Rome, I want to be in Rome. Mm. Mm. <laughs> that sounds wonderful. You two make an interesting couple. Uh, excuse me one moment. I have to take this call. Marisa, si scusa, mi sono ancora qui. Where the hell is Blair? If she didn't want to come to Rome with me, she should have just said so. Something came up. Is she with Chuck? No, of course not. She's with Eleanor, but she knows how important this is to you, and she wants to go, so she sent me in her place. You're not really helping. Mm, I don't know. He just said we'd make an interesting couple. Not in a good way. I cannot believe that Blair would do this. What could be more important? I handpicked these myself. You really want us to wear one of those? If it helps you get in a character. Or you can have them choose your outfit and stay clothed for now. Okay, when Nevin shows up, take charge immediately. Remember, you are pros. You call the shots. What if he wants to touch us? Uh, swat his hand away and tell him no. Treat him like the dog he is. How do you know this will work? You think this is the first time I've entrapped someone with prostitutes? Every good girl has a pair. Now, when the time is right, Chuck will burst in and take pictures, and then your work here is done. Oh, and if you get his clothes off before you cuff him to the bed, it'll make things a lot easier. I apologize for cutting this short, uh, but I think we covered everything. Um, thank you for coming by. I'm sorry if we wasted your time. Not your fault. Uh, Lucia insisted we did this. But I'm sure you'll both have a nice time in Rome. Just watch out for pickpockets. Che bastardi. Wait a second, I'm sorry. Are you, are you saying that uh, we got in? Of course. This was just a formality. And if I didn't have a deadline to meet for my new novel, I would love to sit around and chat more with you guys. You really do make a lovely couple. <laughs> a lot of energy, that one. <laughs> Hello. I'm Eleanor Waldorf. Oh. You have a lovely daughter. I can see where she gets her beauty from. <laughs> okay, thank you so much for coming by. Don't forget that deadline, buddy. Serena, how are you? Hello. I am good. Thank you. Uh, where, where's Blair? I haven't seen her yet. Excuse me. 